Welcome to Chef Knives to Go. Quick look product review. I'm Steve Gamash, and what we have this time is the CCK Large Slicer Model 1103. Just to <clears throat> excuse me, just to clarify that on the website. So this knife has a construction of mono steel. So this is one hunk of steel. It is a reactive carbon steel. Uh, the heat treats probably in the 58, maybe 59 Rockwell. It's it's fairly soft, so it can take a little bit of abuse, and uh, it, it's pretty easy to sharpen as well because of that. Uh, again, the construction is mono steel. There's no cladding or layers. So uh, the dimensions and weights on this knife can vary just a little bit from knife to knife. This particular one is 394 grams or 14 ounces. And the edge length is about 228 millimeters or 9 inches on the money for the usable edge. And the overall length is about 13 inches or 330 millimeters. Thickness-wise, this is a thin knife. It's a slicer kind of... Uh, prep knife and it's not meant for whacking through bones or stuff but I got about 2.5 millimeters thickness at the back on the spine and then about 1.5 halfway down and we're pretty well about there on the rest of the blade maybe we slide down a little from that thickness so the blades pretty stiff it's got a little bit of flex but it's really overall quite stiff the um, Height is also very tall, as you might imagine. So I got 180 millime 108 millimeters at the back and 113 halfway down on the height of the blade, so it's pretty tall. Uh, your base, your handle is their basic wood handle, and you've got a tang in there, and it, they pound a tang over to lock the handle in into the ferrule. So uh, it's always recommended on these type of handles that you put some kind of uh, sealant on there, oil or something, to keep the... Uh, moisture from getting into the handle and causing issues, so keep that in mind. Uh, the blade itself, again, is pretty thin. Let's take a look at the... Well, let's get our beauty shot here. So it's a nice looking knife. It's got a nice kind of matte brushed finish. It does have lacquer on it, so this particular one I can see some just little pieces of fuzz or things that are in the lacquer, so uh, it's got a food safe lacquer that will start to wear off over time as you use the knife. And then you'll start to see the uh, staining, you know, the color develop on the blade where the lacquer goes away or wears down. Here's your embossed nomenclature and characters on this side of the blade. And then on the left side of the blade is basically plain. Again, it's nice looking blade. Uh, then they start to grind it down towards the edge right here. Uh, the profile this gets fairly thin at the edge uh, these can be used for some pretty delicate tasks as you'll see in some of the reviews on these and descriptions so if you if it's in the right hands and you kind of learn the technique with this blade and how to manage that size people do some pretty amazing things with these uh, despite the size because they are pretty thin and uh, they'll do some pretty nice work plus you've got a big old huge uh, area there to scoop up some food if you want to scoop up product and drop it in to the next phase of your operation you've got a huge uh, board there to scoop up with so that's kind of cool as well and so they've got a smaller slicer this is their large slicer again um, pretty neat it's a it's a neat blade I'll give it a five out of six or five or six out of ten on the, the edge it's got some lacquer on it so it's a little hard to tell but it's got a pretty decent edge on it you'll want to touch that edge up to get that lacquer off of it so you kind of see what it's what's there and this particular one is a fairly flat profile. So you'll see here we've got, and every knife's going to be a little different. This has a little bit of a kind of a couple fulcrum areas on it, but uh, it's fairly flat back here. Then you got a little bit of back bubble there, and then a little bit of belly, not much towards the front. So this is not a rocking knife, it's not what you do with it, but you could definitely do tip draws like crazy, uh, push pull cuts, glide cuts, lots of chopping. So this, this, those are the kind of things this will more shine at versus rocking. It's really just not that style of blade. But very interesting knife. Got some heft to it. A little bit of kind of a rustic refinement at the same time. It's a really cool knife. You might want to try this out and see what you think of this type of product. So And how you, how, you, know, you can learn to use it. So this is the CCK Large Slicer Model 1103 knife.